today, she's in heat. Today we're gonna be trying to show you our morning chores with the goats and chickens in particular. So not the cow chores. Good morning. Good morning. It's 7.30. We've been up since five. Here we go. Good morning, Crosby. Looking for snacks. Good morning. Kitchen scraps to give them. Leave that bucket here. Good morning, honey. These are our Nubians. Good morning, Emma. Hi, honey. I can grab these hay feeders. I'm going to go fill them. I just got the Nubians last week. Good morning, Didi. Good morning, Moxie. Good morning, Dottie. And Honey got here just a couple days ago. So she's still trying to find her place here. But, yeah. There we go. We have three, sort of four separate goat herds going on. We have the Nubians. We have the Kinders. That's Mira and Heat that you hear. Uh, and then we have a little hutch. We have the bucks across the street, and then we have a young buck. And um, his weather friend. Good morning, Mira. Good morning, guys. Good morning, ladybug. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Ty. I see her bottle. Cassie. Here. I oh, know she doesn't want it. She's just drinking it. Cassie. Cassie. A little bit. No. She drank some of it, but I interrupted her, so we've got some empty hay feeders we have to take care of. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning. Good 
Good morning. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Giselle. Giselle's a little shy. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Magnolia. Do you want your bottle yet, Cassie? No. Hi, Mira in heat. <laughs> Little pop. Alright, so we're gonna fork out some hay first. Now it's time for some grain. Just a little bit. This is just a sweet green. And I get a little bit of in the morning. And they have feeders down there. Nice little snack. And there's Ladybug waiting for her super secret private stash. So, this scoop will go to the Nubians and then. This little handfuls for Ladybug. Hi Tyson. Your boy, you don't get any. Hi Bracey. Alright. Oh, check it out. Take care of that. Hi girls. Check out this pumpkin. Crazy. Doctor. Go ahead, honey. Come over on this side. Hey, sweetie. So these, the four, other than the white one, were all together, have been together for years and years, and then we got them all as a group, and then Honey is new, so she's still, she's still getting her, getting used to her, her position here, getting, fighting for her place in the hierarchy. She's younger than all of them too, so, you know that goes. Let's go feed the chickens. Since we've got a chicken out, we can go feed them instead right now. So that we can get them all, so that we can get them all situated. Our chickens don't like being out, so it's pretty easy to get them back in. Let's get their food first. We're gonna be out of pellet today so we have to go to the farmers co-op and get some more but we have a little bit so it's the corn mm. Ow. I don't even know how I'm strong sometimes Ugh. this is the rest of our pellet Pour the rest. One handed. Oh, hello, Mira. We won't breed Mira until the spring. The goat that you hear hollering. Because she just gave birth in July. So she will not be bred again until the spring. Okay. Let's go feed some chickens. Good morning. Hey, you flew out of the fence.
ready? Go on. Easy as that. Hello, Cross McGuff. Hello, Crosby. He's our guard goose. He's a little dirty. But that's his new pool we gave him. Because this one broke when it froze. But here's the chickens eating. Take the cart, feed everyone their hay. There's Brycey, We're waiting for it. He's actually waiting for hay wedge because it's, normally we move them around in the summer so that they get fresh, they get grass and weeds and whatever brush we need them to clean up. They've since pooped in their water. We move them around in the summer, normally, but now that it's winter, they need a little extra food so they get some haywage in the morning. Fresh hay for you boys. He was a bottle baby. Brycey was our first bottle baby on the farm. He was the first baby born ever, actually. Here, goat, I should say, baby goat born here. And he uh, was a triplet, and his mom could not keep up with him. And so he ended up being a bottle baby. So he's very friendly. And he has a unicorn. So that's fun. Some girls. The Nubian girls waiting for their hay. There you go. Here's the other one. Look who fell asleep. Fix his little hat. Little baby fell asleep. Doing chores. Mira in heat. She's actually looking for Yoshi, the buck over there, who used to be over there for a lot of the summer. But he's moved. That's actually her son, so I find it pretty funny. And we have sprinkles. 
Sunflower and Tyson. Ellie. Isabella in the black. Gwen with her head up in a feeder. <laughs> Let's see. This is their barn digs. Hi, Ty. Princess Sophia standing on the hay feeder. Prefers hay to anything else, just like her mom. The two summer kids going after whatever they can get. And now we're going to fill some water. Yeah. And we got a big bucket for the big girls and a little bucket for the kids who can't reach the good bucket once they get down. More haylage first. This is just water. Ugh. I'm trying to do one handed. Pretty good. Hi, Bryce. Hi, Bryce. Yosh. So we're gonna take the core of the bale over to the bucks right now. And that's the last thing on the agenda because Jack has to bring over some more haylage for them. So we can't do that until we have some over here. So let's go. We keep the bucks across the street for two reasons. One, we had an available space for them over there already built with fencing that no one, nothing, we didn't have anything else in there. So we just had to modify it a little bit for them. And two, we don't have girls and boys jumping fences, breaking fences, to breed. Hi Darius. That's their feeder. That's Griff. That's Blythe. This is their hay core. Hey Blythe. Hey, friendly Darius. They scratch their heads and their necks on this gate. Oop, there. Pulls all their hair off. Need to get a new gate that they can't do that on. Huh, Griff? Okay, so that's it for our morning chores. Normally I would also be uh, refilling Crosby's pool and feeding out some haylage, but um, with the new pool, I can't pick it up with the baby very easily, and we don't have any handlage yet, so Jack will take care of that when he comes in for breakfast. Thanks for watching, everybody.